what's this whole process been like and how do you like your landing spot in Tennessee? Well, this process has been absolutely bizarre for me, but landing in Tennessee has been great. Um, and I'm enjoying every second of it. I'm extremely grateful. I thank God. Thank Jesus Christ and my, and my parents. I'm just extremely excited to get to get to Tennessee and get to work. Corey Curtis. Kayla, congratulations. Uh, how big of a sales job, how many questions did you have to answer about your draft, about your back through this whole draft process? Numerous. How tiring was it? I mean, how fatiguing was it on you to try to tell everybody I'm going to be OK? Yeah, it's just it's just frustrating. You get to a point where you where, you know, what I'm saying you want a team to, to draft you that believes in you. And if you don't believe in me, you know, then play against me. Joe Rexford. Yeah, Caleb, well, I. I do have another question about that back, Caleb. How how are things? Uh, what is your prognosis right now? Do you expect to be available by training camp and be able to play as a rookie? Yeah, I, I feel great. Um, I'm extremely excited to get to Tennessee and get on the field and get to work and get to meet all my new coaches. I'm 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 ecstatic for tomorrow. John Glennon. Hey, Caleb. Uh, um. I, what uh, what was it like, you know, I, I guess this past year in terms of, uh, of opting out um, and, uh, you know, what I guess why did you make the decision uh, early like you did and, and um, how do you feel about it at this point? Yeah, well, you know, I talked about the opt out a thousand times, so, you know, there's no point to go back, but uh, I feel great. You know, I'm a Tennessee Titan. I'm in good health and I'm extremely excited for the upcoming season. I feel great. Buck? Hey Caleb, what do you what do you know about uh, the guys who are going to be your teammates? Norris Jenkins, Christian Fulton, uh, Kevin Johnson, a, a new addition here in Tennessee, like yourself. What do you know about the Titans' defense and some of the players that are here? I've never met any of those guys personally, but uh, you know I'm a, I'm a fan. I've been a fanboy from a distance. You know I'm, I'm fans of all their games, and I'm extremely excited to get in the locker room and bond um, and get to meet new guys and, and and you know be a great teammate to them. And, and what do you what do you make of, of what what the I know their their system is is they pride themselves on multiplicity here in Tennessee. But where, where do you think your best fit is with these uh, with these players that they currently have on the roster? Uh, the, my best fit with the players or within the system? The best the best fit within the defense, I guess I should say. Apologies. Oh, yeah. Uh, my best fit within the defense is is is, is Caleb. You got that guy. Harry. Caleb, what was it like, I guess, kind of having to go through the, the process of being injured and as you're coming out and declaring for the draft and trying to – what was the hardest part in, in trying to get yourself back and get ready to, to be healthy enough to play? Uh, yeah, the hardest part was just being patient, um, canceling out the noise, um, waiting for the draft. Um, you know, that, that was the hardest part, but uh, – you know, I feel great. Um, I can't wait to get back on the field, and and I'm just extremely excited to be to be a Tennessee Titan. Steve Lehman. Caleb, congratulations and welcome to Tennessee. After 17 months, how excited are you to just get on the field and play again? You have no idea. You have you have no idea. Um, I, I can't wait. Um, when when they called me, when Coach called me to tell me I was going to be a Tennessee Titan, the first thing out of my mouth was. Um, you know, when can I get the playbook? Um, I, I'm extremely excited uh, to get back on the field and, and uh, to rep these colors. And one of the things that the Titans are known for is locking people down man-to-man. -man. That's a, certainly something that Virginia Tech and their cornerbacks have been known for over the years. When you line up across from somebody, what are you thinking as you try to lock them down? Uh, yeah, I, I'm just thinking that they're not on my level. Um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to dominate. I want to be, I want to be a, a, a great corner, and uh, I'm gonna show up to work every day to try to make that happen. And 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 um, hopefully, I can help the Tennessee Titans win games. Ben Arthur. Hey Caleb. Uh, first of all, just welcome to Nashville. Um, to, to to my knowledge, it, it, correct me if I'm wrong. It looks like you've only been playing cornerback for um, a couple years. Um, just kind of with, with that said, is there anyone you've 
I guess, tried to, you know, model your game after anyone you've kind of looked to as you've made that transi transition to defense? Uh, yes. Um, you know, I, I try to take a little bit from everybody um, and, and kind of put it together as, as I see fits my knee, as my skill set and things like that. Um, you know, I can't really name just one person, uh, but I've tried to pick and pull uh, different specialties from everybody. Luke? Caleb, will you be ready to go for training camp? I, I believe so, 100%, yes. Have you been told that you need any additional surgeries, or do you think you're done with that stuff? Yeah, that's completely false. Um, completely false. Teresa? Uh, Caleb, you were going to be in Cleveland tonight, uh, and you, apparently you've tested positive. How are you doing, and was it a positive test for COVID? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it could have been a false positive. Uh, I tested negative today at the hospital. I feel great. Paul? Hey, Caleb, uh, who, who did you have a sense was interested in you coming into tonight? Who wouldn't you have been surprised to hear call your name? Um, I knew the Tennessee Titans was interested in me, and I'm so glad that it worked out. Who else? If it wasn't the Titans, who was it going to be? Uh, different teams here and there. Um, nobody really showed me more interest in the Titans. Teron? Hey, Caleb, you, you mentioned that you feel that you'll be ready for training camp, but if that isn't the case, and if they have to go the, the, the patient route, how are you going to deal with that, especially knowing you haven't played in so long? I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last very last part. I said, if if you aren't able to go at training camp and they want to take that that patient approach approach with you, how are you going to deal with that? Especially considering you haven't played in so long. Yeah, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. I'm, I'm expecting to be ready. I like that. I like that. I, <laughs> I like that. So getting back to to your your cat coverage ability and, and what you bring to the table, you know, what is it that makes you such a, an outstanding cover corner? Um, you know, um, shoot, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not an analyst. Um, you know, I, I just give my heart to the game. I work extremely hard. Um, and, and I'm going to give the Tennessee Titans all I got. Chris Harris. Caleb, uh, I'm just curious. You're obviously in the car moving. Where are you headed? I'm going home to get ready to uh, go to Tennessee tomorrow. Okay. Where were you? I was at a family member's house. Okay, great. Um, just one more question about uh, you, you had talked about just kind of the, the mental fortitude that it took for the last 17 months to stay ready. I just wonder what that was like every day having to get up and knowing, you know, like it's all part of the plan. Just keep rehabbing and do what I'm doing. Can you talk us talk us through what that was like? Uh, yeah, well, um, for me, you know, I, I leaned on my faith, which, which was extremely helpful to me. You know, I trust in God. I, I trust in Jesus Christ. Um, you know, um, uh, Lord willing, I knew I was going to be playing football this year. So um, I was just excited and, and patient. You know, I didn't set any expectations. Um, and, and I just, you know, let it play out how it was going to play out. And it was just amazing. Um, I, I couldn't ask for a better experience. And I'm so thankful to be a Tennessee Titan. I, I, oh, man, I, words can't put it to just. George Robinson. Hey, Caleb, uh, can you talk just a little bit, um, you know, about you've been through so much in the past uh, few years, uh, particularly with the with the death of your your, your mother. Um, you know, talk a little bit about, you know, once you once you knew you were going to be a Titan um, and what that experience was like in, in your maybe your reflection on, you know, how your mother would would have reacted to that and and, you know, being able to uh, share that experience with her. Yeah, well, my mother was my biggest fan. Um, you know, I, I, it could have went a lot different um, if she was here. It was a, it was a little weird because, you know, I had to be in the room by myself um, on the couch in front of the camera by myself. But once I got off camera and kind of uh, got to see some of my family members, it was very emotional. Um, you know, I, I had a great time. It was it was surreal. Uh, like I said, it was everything I could have asked for, dreamed for. Um, it was like something out of a movie. Is this, is this something that uh, that you've had discussions with uh, in years past, you know, with your mother, you know, getting to this point um, and, and having that, you know, finally come to fruition now? Yeah, I was telling my mother I was going to be a first round draft pick when I was like seven years old. Um, you know, um, 
Um, I, I hope she's smiling down on me from from the sky. And, um, you know, and she always believed me. Kayla. Hey, Caleb. Um, welcome to Nashville. Soon, of course, you're headed this way. But, you know, head coach Mike Vrabel said something about, you know, you guys had some good conversations just about football. Um, can you kind of talk about some of those conversations and really how you guys clicked? Because I, I, they just raved about your knowledge and just how they could hold a conversation with you when it comes to the game. Oh, uh, yeah. Talking to coach, talking to coach, I, I, I could tell he was a genuine, honest person. Um, and, and that for me means everything. You know, I, I'll give him everything I got um, uh, for us to be able to sit down and talk a lot of football. Um, was easy because we both are in love with the game. Um, and if you bring two people together that's in love and passionate about the game of football, you know, we could sit up and talk and, and, ne and never get any sleep. So we hit it off immediately and always had great calls. Um, and that's why I'm just so excited and ecstatic to be a, a Tennessee Titan. Just a couple more for you, Caleb. Rex Road. Yeah, Caleb, just to clarify, the, the second procedure, does that does that still go back to the original lifting injury? That's not like a different uh, yeah, I injury. had I had both I had both injuries um from the original incident. Um probably should have got it fixed at the same time, but it didn't play out like that. I'm so glad that it's behind me and I'm a Tennessee Titan. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> John Glennon. Yeah, Caleb, uh, what do you feel like, you know, when, when you're at the top of your game doing everything well, what, what do you feel like your sort of your top physical and your top mental skills are for uh, for playing corner? Uh, I, I just – I believe it's just, you know, studying that week, um, coming in prepared, knowing the game plan, and um, and also just being relaxed and, and trusting in, in my abilities and my technique. Um, you know, that should take care of itself. Tim Wyatt. Hey, Caleb, you've had to deal with a lot of adversity, a lot of scrutiny, I guess, leading up to this draft. Uh, and then, of course, you're supposed to be in Cleveland, weren't able to go because of COVID. When you look back at everything leading up to you being picked, I mean, is this some of this going to motivate you moving forward? And do you kind of come into the NFL with a little bit of a, a chip on your shoulder? I've always had a huge chip on my shoulder, so I'll stay motivated until I hang up the cleats. Uh, but looking back, I just smile and I thank God because, you know, I'm, I never let the devil get me down one time in that process. And um, and uh, th this season, you know, I'm going to reap the benefits for that. Sharon. Okay, I, I, I believe the procedure you had, that was on the L5, correct? I had a, a dissectomy on L5, L4, and L5, S1. And, okay, so you did have a procedure on, on the bulge and the S1 as opposed to allowing that, that bulge to go down? Uh, yes, that's what we fixed. Gotcha. Thank you.